Hi, Prepper21 here. I've got this brand new set of six pot cracky, K R A T K Y, hydroponics set up, and I'm ready to put some plants in it. You see the plants over here are off to a good start. I'll show you a close up of them a little later. One thing I want to point out the beauty of cracky hydroponics. You see that root already coming through um, so as the water evaporates the roots will really develop and grow into a thick beautiful net that's clean non-smelly really work out well uh, grow well and it'll last for months so I've got some new uh, seedlings here that I have to find some space in here for which won't be a problem and as you can see the beauty of seeds yeah, I swear, I only plant a few at a time, and um, I end up with tons. So I won't be able to even, you know, make use of all these seedlings. And we'll see what happens. But that won't be a problem, because over here, I've got sunflower seeds and pea seeds. Now, I've soaked these seeds for 24 hours. They came from the sprout people in California. Lovely people. Um... Over here is where I'll grow them. I've got a heat mat underneath. Okay, makes it a little warm, very handy in this unheated room in December 2020. Right now, the two trees or three trees that I have here are slowly soaking up water from underneath. Um, and then this is one of the uses I make of, uh, of my stored water. So I've been storing water for, you know, months. It's time to recycle. And uh, what uh, what better way, you know, I can't throw it away, so putting it into plants, and we'll see how that goes. Um, right here we got um, potting soil, just, you know, regular cheap old potting soil. And over here is something called coconut core. Here I'll grow arugula. And then the peas and the sunflower. Um, add a little carrot and rice, and, you know, we'll see if I end up with a meal. Maybe I got a can of tuna around here somewhere. So let me put this over here. These are uh, some more of the. Let me turn the lights off. Make that a little quieter. Now these are flies on, 900 watt LED lights. Uh, one's been a, a, a great use to me for the last couple of years, and so I got a second one. You know, back in the spring, uh, I've got enough room to do these plants, and. I was thinking I had enough space in here to spread out a little bit more and I put in a third tub here with six net pots. Now the net pots aren't really fancy at all. Um, just a regular Dixie cup, a plastic cup, whatever, and drilled with uh, you know a number of holes. Uh, they're great for getting plants started in the springtime too, recyclable, you clean them. Five inch net pots. Let's see, we'll put the ring one with the plant in it. Okay. You see, I make a mess all the time. And that's the thing about doing this, so you gotta be willing to make a mess and then clean your mess too. And I'm pretty good at cleaning. So, uh, that's some lettuce there. Here we have spinach. Okay. Um, the parsley I showed you with the root coming through. Um, Got chives, so I'll be doing more of those too. You can grow chives indoor in the winter time. We'll see. Um, the spinach is starting to come off pretty nicely. So you see, they all have enough room to grow on their own. And some of the extra plants that I really love are buttercrunch lettuce. So I want to get more of that going. Um, and uh, this is red Swiss chard. So it's a little difficult because my all-time go-to favorite is basil and um, I think that's right here Regular old Italian leaf basil. I don't have enough room to grow the, the mammoth basil like I did uh, a couple months ago and gosh that was just huge the basil lasted for you know literally I think we had five months of basil and a lot of it's still stored so what we'll do is 
I've already done a little bit of basil transfer, but you know, the basil grows okay if you put two together. A lot of plants won't, you know, take one next to the other. This works out pretty well. So I just come in, dig out the basil with my pencil. And what I want to show is the root system's pretty well intact. I've been growing this for a couple of weeks, so chances are it'll take off pretty well here. And the other one that's in there has just as well a developed root system already. And to grow these plants, to get them started, uh, it's just regular old uh, coconut core again. Um, the wonderful thing about it, comes in this really tightly packed block, five kilogram maybe, and when you, when you break it up into pieces and then put it in the tray, it, it, it expands, it really puffs out. So it's really worth uh, the effort if you can find that using that. The five inch pots are a little bigger, so I think I want to grow maybe a you know a plant that needs a bit more space. Um, parsley comes to mind. Really like parsley, and we'll see how that goes. So I'll stick this one in. Um, if you've got any questions or critiques about the techniques for doing this, or you know you practice on your own, got questions, you know feel free to uh, add to the comments, like, subscribe. Look around a little bit, you know, and uh, there's even a few contests on the uh, on the website. So, a couple of parsley. We'll see how that goes. Now, once these uh, get going like this, th these plants are all ready to starve out of uh, out of their seedling places because I've already had them there too long. So once they come under here and under lights, um, should be fine. The problem is. You know, do, will I have enough light? I think I can maneuver these lights around. I'm not going to do it now, but I can maneuver them around enough to, uh, you know, maybe make sure there's enough light for all the plants. And it's also possible while they're still younger, if they need a little bit of placement, you can still move them around to different spots. Um, but once the roots really start to take off and the water slowly evaporates, um, they start to interlock, and then it's a huge, uh, tightly packed web of roots under there, and there's no more moving them. So um, we'll see how this goes, and uh, I think, you know, this is off to week one. Uh, these plants here, I think, are on week two. And the great thing about the peas and the sunflower and the uh, arugula, they'll be ready within a week. So I'll show more, and um, feel free to do the same, send questions, and, you know, get prepared.